Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial Yeah, today I show you what's to do that you can work the x -Bot on our Pioneer Reunion server So the first thing you have to copy just here the Pioneer Reunion folder I did it already because it's need a little bit of time on my computer So this is the first step you just make a right click copy that and right click on your desktop on the free slot and pass it inside here so after that we have here the copy on our desktop so we just make a rename on this folder so I just delete the copy and call it xbot so this is the first thing so then here we need the xbot version 1.0.7 because this uh, is the folder where the xbot is inside and this you can download this is marked here in the link so the next thing that we need is the IP change tool. This is to put the IP that you need for the export uh, to play on our server. So the first thing we open the export folder. Here we have the stuff inside, and we just unpack this in the export folder. So after all of that, it's really simple because you just have to open the export folder. We use here the xbot x and open the bot. So here they ask you now invalid row directory. So we choose the copy folder from the xbot. This is really important. So don't use the original separate folder. So here we use the throw client and open that. So when the bot is open, you see this overlay and uh, yeah, the first thing that we need is we click here on login and uh, yeah, then you will see here in the bottom the IP from the export that we have to put into this row at client. So now we copy that. So and this is normally everything that you have to do at the first here in the export. Now we can close it again. Then we open the IP change tool and uh, yeah normally you don't need to unpack this because uh, you don't need it really long so here you have cap 100 pioneersrow.com we just click it delete this one and add a new one here we pass the IP that we copied from the export the port we can delete and this yeah was it so we click on OK and just change the port to 1700 and press OK so normally that was it so now we can open the export folder open again the export and uh, yeah the last thing that we have to do now here before you can use the export is you have to check here on uh, redirect gateway server if this IP stay inside here this cap 100 this will be linked in this video too so when it's not inside just put it inside don't forget the port to put inside 15779 and that's everything that you have normally to do and when you click now on login you have the option start client and you can use the export on our server so I wish you good luck with that when it's not work you have the option to watch this video again and uh, yeah then normally it have to work so have a good day and see you later goodbye